गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम लक्ष्मी माड़ी आई एम टेकिंग फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड साइंस सब्जेक्ट टूडेज आवर सेकेंड टॉपिक इज एनिमल लाइफ एनिमल लाइफ इन प्रीवियस क्लास यू हैव लर्न ओविपेरियस एनिमल्स एनिमल्स दैट ले एग्ज द प्रोसेस ऑफ हैचिंग and insects most insects lay eggs to reproduce now in this class you are going to learn about the birds frogs and fish birds birds to reproduce by laying eggs the eggs of birds are larger and slightly advanced in structure in comparison to the insect eggs the egg shell encloses a white jelly like substance called the albumen the albumen encloses inside it a yellow colored substance called the yolk the yolk is food for the growing young ones or the baby inside the egg in some larger species the female will lay an egg only once every 2 to 3 days birds usually start to lay at around 5 months of age and continue to lay for 12 months on average laying fever eggs as they near the molting period for proper development of the young one inside the egg the egg needs to be kept warm this is taken care of by the parent bird who sits on the eggs to keep them warm all the time see as students this is a albumen the egg shell encloses a white jelly like substance called the albumen and this is yolk the albumen encloses inside it a yellow colored substance called the yolk using the food from the yolk the baby grows into a chick the chick is the young one that hatches that hatches out from the egg the chick then develops to from an adult bird life cycle of a hen using the food from the yolk the baby grows into a chick the chick is the young one that hatches out from the egg the chick then develops to from an adult bird quick check complete the following sentences first sentence the egg of a cockroach hatches into a dash the egg of a cockroach hatches into a nymph second the egg of a butterfly hatches into a dash the egg of a butterfly hatches into a larva and third one is the egg of a bird hatches into a dash the egg of a bird hatches into a chick write in your science class workbook frogs frogs are grouped under the category of animals and amphibians amphibians are animals that can live both in water and on the land such animals usually lay their eggs in the water
amphibians generally lay large number of eggs the eggs hatch to give rise to tadpoles that spend their lives in water that spend their lives in water see our students the eggs hatch to give rise to tadpoles that spend their lives in water tadpoles looks like tiny fish and do not have legs like the adult frog they breathe through their gills they breathe through their gills frogs lay eggs in water and the egg hatch into tadpoles that grow into frogs all frogs reproduce sexually and all hatch from eggs during their time in the water the tadpoles feed and undergo many bodily changes they finally develop into adult frogs after a few weeks the life cycle is completely when they metamorphosis into adult next fish fish are animals found in different water bodies around the world they are one of the few animals that lay thousands of eggs at one time most fish release thousands of eggs scattering them in the water where the male fish fertilize them out of the many eggs only a few eggs hatch to give birth to young fish the eggs develop and hatch into larva means baby fish without any help from the parents now we are going to learn about the viviparous animals animals that give birth to young ones animals that give birth to their young ones directly are called viviparous animals such animals are also called mammals the young one develops inside the body of the adult female animal the developing by obtains nourishment from the mother's baby after the young one is fully formed and has all the body parts the adult female gives birth to it among animals viviparity is development of the embryo inside the baby of the parent eventually leading to live birth here are some examples of viviparous animals animals that give birth to young ones lioness give birth to cub sheep give birth to lamb goat give birth to kid and mare give birth to colt after being born the young one feeds and derives nourishment from the milk produced by the mother this happens for some time until the young one is able to feed on its own human beings elephants lions dogs cats and most other mammals are viviparous animals dolphins and whales are also mammals that live in the water unlike most after most other fish that are 
oviparous they are viviparous animals mammals are vertebrate animals constitution the class mammalia and characterized by the presence of mammary gland which in females produce milk for feeding their young did you know the duck-billed platypus and the spiny anteater are mammals that lay eggs quick check give examples first an animal that lay eggs in water to reproduce second an animal that live on the land and give birth to its young ones and third an animal that live in the water and give birth to its young ones write in your science class of book now it's time to take the homework write a short note on viviparous animals in your science homework book and send on the whatsapp thank you